Greetings, this is Demonic FPS, also known as Demonic Sin, and Demonic, and also Demon from the Ace Clan. And many people asked me on how to record Delta videos using the Open Broadcaster software which I use. And if you also don't understand my accent or I'm speaking too fast, I will write down the steps for you in the description down below. So yeah. You uh ignore that. You download the software from the obsproject.com and I don't think it works on the XP version but Honestly, I don't think you even should be using XP. You should be using Windows 7 in 2015. Windows XP has many disadvantages when it comes to technology. So you just download that. You do that. Install it wherever you feel comfortable like. And then when you open it, you'll, you won't have anything uh, here. So you're going to want to add a scene. And then call it whatever you want. And hmm, how do I explain that? I'm also very shit at doing tutorials, especially by voice. It's like my first time trying this. So excuse me for that. So the way you want to normally do the recording is to add and do go to game capture. And then you want to start up Delta. And then you'll see the Delta application over here. And then you'll click OK. And then make sure it's stretch your image to screen. And then it should be either working or it should be either black screen. Now that depends on uh, on Windows and your graphics card. For example, because I have Windows 10, I don't think I can record it that way. And also Delta is a very old program. That means it most likely won't be able to do that. Uh, hmm. Sorry if I'm starting a bit. So the way you want to record normally is just to use monitor capture. And you, you don't have to change any of the settings. You can just select your monitor, which I have two monitors, but one is not connected. If you have more than one monitor, then you have to select whichever uh, you want to record the game on, or whichever the game is on the monitor, on which monitor I meant. And this is like the easiest part. The hardest part is to get the settings correctly. So, because I'm recording right now, I don't think I can change it. That's kind of lame. Hmm. All right, one sec. All right, so I know many of you don't have like good PCs such as mine, and many of you are stuck with like low, low end graphics card or very outdated graphics card. So this program may not work for you just because of that, but it should because I've used it on my previous computer which was like two years ago I think and it had a one gigabyte of VRAM in it and the processor was completely shite so you want to set profile you can just name it anything and just click add so as you can see I have a profile name recording daily and I cannot change it because I'm recording at the moment then you want to go to encoding now these two options should be great out for you if you don't have an NVIDIA card so you want to disable, make sure this is disabled and make sure this, well, this can be anything you want, but also you can mouse over it, over it to see what the setting will do. And if you can understand that, that's great. So the way I always record my videos is in bitrate, the higher bitrate you have, the lower pixelation, uh, you the, the, the lower the amount of pixels you'll see on the video uh, so you won't be able to notice any 
kind of distortion in your video, the higher this is. But also, the higher this is, the the how do I say this? The more it will take uh, your space in in the hard drive. So, for example, I record a uh, quite a high just for the delta. This is a very hard high bitrate just for delta. So, I would recommend to record in either 2000 or 2500 and then this should take not as much of a space as it should as the other programs do because other programs uh, record in about 10,000 now that's a big difference and th this is per second that means each second of your video will be th that exact amount of kilobytes so you also want to optimize this to your liking not 35,000, I mean 3,500 and this actually should be 3,000 of course, this session won't be applied until the next time you begin not streaming, but recording as well so uh, you don't have to do anything here you can set this on default, but because I want to record my microphone at high quality I'll just say I have it set on 128 I'd recommend using the stereo and this should be all at the highest unless you really have struggles with any kind of audio syncing in your video now broadcast settings this will normally be on a live stream you want to click on mode and you want to click on file output only and then you want to browse and select wherever you want uh, the videos to be recorded. Now I have a free terabytes hard drive. It only shows two, but it's free. That means I I can record way much more than any other person. So I don't have to delete videos after recording them or after uploading them until a couple years. So that's an advantage if you have a big drive. You can just forget about this forget about optimizing your videos and set it to high quality but in our case you just want to have this on your biggest drive that you can have so it doesn't take up all, uh, all your system drive now my system drive is very small it's an SSD as well solid state drive which are very fast uh, hard drives and as you can see I only have 4 gigabyte space if I were to get record on that it would just crash my system so I don't want to do that and you don't want to do it either on video, you want to make sure that you're using that it actually detects your graphics card, whichever you're using. And you usually just want to record the monitor and you want to downscale it. Now, downscaling, if you want to record in 720p, which for example on YouTube terms is probably the best to record on, you want to select the 1.50. As you can see, there, it will downscale this resolution to 12 by 1280 to 720. If you want to record in 480p, if you're really struggling by recording 720, you want to uh, select this option. And if you're really, really, really struggling for and you just want to record it just as smooth as possible, you want to select at 360, so which is 3.0. You don't have to change the bone here, uh, you can keep that on the fastest, I've never had any troubles uh, recording on this. Now, this will be the test of your system on whether you can run the game in 60fps and whether you can record the game in 60fps as well. So if you have a slow PC, you could put it on 30, but I have a, I'll, I have a rule to always record in 60fps. and audio settings now here you don't have to change like anything uh, as you can see I have my microphone boosted up and I'm using my studio microphone which is I should be sounding pretty clear on hotkeys you can use anything you want if you want to uh, 
mic uh, use a microphone while pressing a key you can use push to talk you can uh, use these start recording stop recording this is the default by the way I use them and if you if you're not sure if you're recording in game you can uh, press F8 anyways and it will not stop your recording like other programs do because uh, if you press F7 this will stop your recording but if you press F8 it will just start the recording it will not restart the recording it will not stop the recording that means it's a good way to assure uh, that you're recording the game that you want to record and rest of the hotkeys I don't use it I really use I mean you can use uh, mute and unmute your microphone I uh, use that very rarely and uh, advanced settings is probably the most confusing one for uh, for each people for each players even uh, you want to set that normal you can keep this on default keep this on default keep this on default and this is what well, test your PC whenever you have a good CPU you want to go lower but whenever you have a bad CPU you want to go as highest now not that putting that on ultra fast will make your videos look completely shite. So you can put it on super fast or you can put it on ultra fast. I have it on very fast. I normally don't record on higher than fast with my CPU and it's an 8 core. And it's pretty medium 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 CPU as in, in as far as gaming goes. You want to keep your encoding profile on main and you want to have a keyframe interval of 2. And you want to use CVR and do not use custom coding. You do not want to encode in full range and you do not want to use this unless you have a 120Hz monitor, which I doubt any of you have. And you can put on automatic low latency mode, but I'm not sure if this will change anything for you. So, yeah. Make sure that's it. It's on like super fast or ultra fast. Uh, what else can I say? I don't think there, there's anything else to show. I mean, it's pretty simple for me. I have no idea how how you can understand uh, how well you will be able to understand this. So, we're just going to test something. I'm going to start Delta. You should be able to see the game. And you should be able to see everything. And if I alt tab, you should be able to see my screen. Yes, you can. Alright. So, I'll quit Delta game. I'll highlight... The, now, to, rec uh, to record whichever uh, source you want, you, you have to have this highlighted. Or else it won't work. As you can see, it flashes black. And sorry if that flash annoys you. Um, now, if you want to use game capture, as I said before, it doesn't work with Delta well. Even though it detects it. And you can stretch it with the screen and ignore as, um, aspect ratio. You can do that now. To test this really, I have to disable monitor capture. And now it should be either black screen or it should be. Now I'm not so sure what you can see because I don't have it on my second screen as I usually do. So yeah, it most likely will be a black, black screen on my computer, but on yours perhaps it will work. On my previous computer it did work, and on my previous Windows, which was Windows 7, it did work as well. On Windows 10, if you have Windows 10, you want to. Uh, use monitor capture. Also, one more thing I forgot to tell you, when using monitor capture you want to go to video and make sure that you have a disabled area. This only works for Windows 7 and below. This doesn't work for Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. I think that I've covered everything that I could in this video. If you have any problems you can uh, either ask me on Facebook or you can ask in the comment section on YouTube or wherever I post this. Thank you for much for watching. And sorry for either speaking too fast, speaking too slow or anything other things. I'm not experienced in doing such a thing. And that's all. See you later.